What is up guys, Honeyman Sam here. And today I wanted to show you how to locate your crankshaft position sensor, uh, as well as how to replace it on a 1997 Dodge Ram. So I'm actually right smack dab at the end of a transmission rebuild, which is why there's a huge gap here. I wanted to give you guys a view of the crankshaft position sensor without the transmission in here before I put the transmission back in. So this right here is the back of your engine, obviously without the transmission. And right up here is your crankshaft position sensor. Now here's the wire. I just have it out of the way for whenever I put the transmission back up in here. This is what the connection looks like on this side. And right up here, See that connection there? That's where this goes into. Okay, so you have kind of an idea of where you'd need to unclip this sensor at. Right up next to the distributor there. So if you're facing the front of the truck, if you have the hood open and you're, you know, facing your windshield there, it's going to be on your right side of the distributor. So, and the distributor is all the way in the back, pretty much as far as you can get up next to the firewall um, in the very center, or very close to the center. Now, obviously, you're not gonna wanna take down the whole transmission just to get to the sensor. Although, it is a pretty tight space up in there to get your hand down. So, you could really come from two different ways. You could either come from straight down this way like straight from the top and then come down or you could try to sneak your wrist around here around the exhaust obviously when it's cool and try to slip in a ratchet here i'll show it with both the transmission off like it is right now and with the transmission on once i get it back on of how it's like but you're gonna need a half inch socket right there you obviously have other wires and stuff in the way you kind of have to get around but it's uh, two half inch bolts and you'll obviously need an extension to get around there I'm gonna try to get you guys a good from the hood view here so this is the top of your engine here if we look down back this way right there Is your crankshaft position sensor see where that cord's hanging from what we were just talking about so that's it right there pretty much right in line with the left side valve cover so just straight down let me see if i can also get a good view on this side so from the exhaust way You can see it right there. There it is, those two bolts right there. So pretty hard to get to, but it's not impossible. Kind of go around the exhaust like so. Find your bolts. So then you would take out this last bolt here. I'm finishing up down here so you can see a little clear. You'd pull that up out the top. And if you still had this cord connected, you'd need to unclip it from up there. But then you would take it off from there. You would actually pull straight out. You would need to pull straight out because the transmission would be butted up against there. So really it would be like pulling out this way up toward where you just had like the screwdriver or ratchet 
I would suggest breaking it free with a ratchet first and then with a small screwdriver, mainly because trying to twist a ratchet in here is almost impossible because of just this heat shield here and just the way the body of the truck is. But then after you break it free, I would use a small screwdriver. That way you can actually fit in there and get it out. So for unclipping it, mainly you just come in here. And it's really behind all these spark plug wires here or underneath them. It's really not much give, at least in the and the wiring harness. Let's see that clip at the bottom there. Push your thumb on that, and then you'll pull off with the other hand. It's hard to do two-handed, but I'll at least try to get a camera angle. So, push, and then pull out. I had to put the camera down for a second just to be able to get the clip started out, but that's how you do it right there. You can try to pull it up through here, it is a bit tight, but I actually suggest the other way though, because it's just such a tight gap. Yeah, if you're pulling from this way, just kind of pull it out from there. Of course, it'll be over the top this way, over the transmission, but either way, it's got to come out. I also just noticed this, but in the top, it's got a Allen key slot. So if you have a six millimeter, allen key preferably a long one you could also use that method as well or at least getting them started or or uh, the rest of the way out once you get it broke loose with a ratchet you could potentially get it broke loose with the allen key but it's just very hard it's just very it's very tight in there and you need a lot of force really to break the bolts free i also wanted to mention that here when you are using a socket between the actual casing of the engine and the bolt, there is very little clearance. And so at this particular bolt, you may end up having to use an Allen key, the six millimeter, because there's just hardly any room there. Uh, this one, you have a little bit more freedom here. This one especially, you definitely, at least until you get down below this part of the engine here, you're gonna have a hard time with a socket. So you might consider the six millimeter Allen key. Yeah, a long Allen key might be better here, at least getting started. Might be a little trickier with this bolt because you have the heat shield here. So to get it started on this side, you might consider the small screwdriver. So then you just tighten it down with a ratchet. Now I don't have an extension handy with me right now, but you'd want to use maybe about a six inch extension or so, at least for the top one, maybe a little bit shorter one for the bottom, maybe four inch. And you would tighten from like over this way and then a little bit further up on this other bolt. installed and of course you'd want to loop this up over the top of the transmission and then like I showed you up there is where you would connect so you connect those back and here in just a sec I'll show you what it looks like with the transmission okay guys so this is with the transmission back up in there so this is where it connects right here and as if you remember, it's over the top of the transmission. So obviously down here is a lot harder to get to once your exhaust is back on and everything, but I'll still try to feed you up in there so you can see. So you can see right next to the dipstick there. That is your sensor there. So it is awfully tight in here once everything is reinstalled. 
but still as possible you have that bracket there that's holding on the dipstick and then you have the dipstick itself also kind of in the way so if you did need to remove that you always could uh, there's that bolt on the transmission it's actually serves as both a mounting bolt and holding on the dipstick so it's a dual purpose if you just take out that one bolt it won't really hurt anything but you do definitely need to remember to torque it back down to the correct specs and uh, also maybe put some thread locker on it as well but it is possible to do it without taking anything off so guys i hope that video was helpful uh, if it was please give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you in the next video